Good morning, you're watching Andy's Fishing Wild Cook. We're out on the mini mothership with the little dinghy behind us there. Sun's about to come up. We're in a beautiful river system. It's day four of me being on the boat and day three of me filming. Actually, day four of me filming, really. Just making a chai. Now, um, what I do on this channel is catch my protein and then cook it up in some interesting ways. Um, first, first day I did fried rice crab. That was yeah, interesting. Um, and last night I did custard fish. <laughs> if you haven't seen those, go check them out. Um, I've been trying to catch a, well, I mean, I did catch a really nice mangrove jack on the first day, but I want to get one over 45 centimeters. Don't know if I can do it, but that's the challenge I'm setting myself today. It's going to be a half day because um, otherwise I get stuck in here for another 24 hours. And I've already been in here for two whole days. The question is, will we catch a mud crab today? That's the big question. I'm going to do a bit of a stealth approach. Try not to scare the fish. We'll go this way a little bit. I got most of the cod yesterday down this way. But then we'll head that way. And uh, we'll go for jacks later on. There is, there is like probably half a dozen snags here that are really good for jacks. And what I've found is on this trip, the jacks I seem to get in the morning or, or up to like lunchtime, and then after lunchtime they pretty much shut down. And I see very few in the afternoon. And I'm pretty sure that's a tidal thing. Because jacks in the afternoon, I quite like them. But yeah, who knows? Let's see how many jacks we can catch today. I have been fishing the six inch jerk minnows a lot with a 5.0 Gamagatsu super line hook. Now I'm changing it down to a 4.0 and gonna fish the Atomic Plazos prong. If the lure's a little bit smaller, the fish has to grab it where the hook is. And I'm actually hearing a bit of splashing behind me already. We're just drifting out the front of the first spot. Conditions actually feel much better today than they did last night. So we've got the slightest current going this way and the sun is coming this way. So that should mean the fish are pointing into the current and looking with the sun, not like last night where the, the current was still going this way and the sun was coming this way and they're looking into it. This dirty water, oh, there's a fish. There's a fish, I just saw one. I reckon there could be barrel along here. Oh, right over the top of him. We're gonna hit here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, he had it. Oh, that was a different one. That's not the one I saw. Oh, another strike. The fish are switched on this morning. Don't know if you can see the sand flies flying around me. They're a little annoying today, but nothing as bad as the first afternoon. That was insane. I've got hundreds and hundreds of bites on me. Oh, hang on. We're coming up to another good spot here. Don't miss an opportunity to have a fish in a good spot. Can't see the plastic though, so we've still got half a chance. Yep, fish is still there. There he is. Come on out, fish. Oh, we must be able to swim him out. Come on. Oh, which way around is it there? And under, come on, go under, go under. That's it. And come out. Come out. Oh, we got him. <laughs> First fish of the day. Oh, don't go under there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Black spot cod. Probably just under legal size. And look at that. 
he's right on top of the atomic sticker which is the rod that I caught him on let's see if he's a flipper or a floater <laughs> yep he's a flipper there you have it the atomic plazos plazos prime did it actually whoa, look at that it's almost seven and a half that was probably the previous fish i'm gonna keep fishing that i think that's still serviceable it's um still got enough strength in it Let's see if we can catch one more fish oh, this might be a little bit too close but you got to give these things a shot you only get one shot when it's this calm with these fish you mess it up they all sulk it can be sometimes yeah, five ten fish and if one has a bad experience it upsets all the others you know how I said five or ten fish there's actually yeah a good probably 12 maybe 20 fish sitting right there don't know how I missed them before oh kind of like that they're on it Oh, and they spooked. They all spooked. Oh. That's it. One upsets all of them. So who remembers the plan from yesterday? We're still going according to the plan, but I'm going to change the plan. There's a crab pot in here, and I'd have to actually get out and walk and muck around. And I've decided I'm going to leave all the crab pots in. There's four. Um, I'm going to leave them in for the whole day. Uh, well until we leave and then get them at the end because otherwise well what's the point of having in the boat i don't want to go back like go out and come back and go out so we'll just leave them in yeah until we stop fishing and then we'll check the crab pot i thought i'd change it up a little bit i'm still got the 40 gamagatsu on there but i'm now fishing a more natural looking fat grub by plazos i like the curly tails um, and i don't know why i don't fish them in the salt i love them in the fresh so let's see whoops how we go with that extra like the, the, the curly tails have that fluttering action they, they can't but not have a bit of action even when they're almost stationary okay it's time to get serious about the mangrove jack we've done this little section here one cord it's okay but yeah i'm after the mangrove jack oh, another beautiful Clear, calm day. I reckon we'll get some. What do you reckon? <laughs> Let's see if hiding in the shadows like a fish gives us an advantage. Oh, straight away. Got him, yes. Oh, first cast of hiding in the shadows. Oh, just got hit. Oh, I wasn't watching what I was doing. Well, I was actually adjusting the boat, but I got another fish. I saw a monster flathead, sort of about that big, just scoot past here. Oh, but I'm on a mangrove jack mission today. Hey, off you go, little black spot. Hey, they've all just got something in their mouth that looks like a little crab. Hey, off you go. There he goes. It's only really shallow water along here, but every time there's a little deeper pocket on the side with some structure in it, I fish it. Before I jump out and drag the boat, there's a mangrove jack. He's only 30 centimetres long in about, I don't know, 8 inches of water. Actually, he's coming this way. He's right there. Let's see, for you, it would be probably about there somewhere. Look at that. Oh, and a leaf spooked him. <laughs> So, it's um, boat dragging time again, getting shallow, and we're going to fish right up in here. And looks like the tide has turned, so the fish should be, see it's going that way, I reckon the fish should fire up right now. This is just the first push of the tide, I'm going to try and stay with the first push of the tide, you can see it moving quite fast already. I don't think I'll be able to stay with it. Now the current started moving, I'm switching back to a 6 inch jerk minnow with a 5.0 uh, Seekers quarter ounce, um, weedless. That way I can get a little bit of depth when this current starts ripping and the bigger mangrove jack 
they should be waiting for a little little mullet to, to come in and I reckon that's what that looks like a little mullet I think I already said it but the added weight on the jig head means the lure will sink a little bit faster and get in the fish zone before the current rips it out of the way okay prepare to get smoked here words of encouragement to myself yep oh I looked away and I got oh hit oh man hello Jax I can see you yep oh straight in always straight in and another cord I saw some jacks there but I got the cord Ah oh, well, at least we're getting a couple of fish today. Oh, not a bad one. Just under leg, I'm gonna say. And that's on the upside down rigged plastic, hey? Eh? Little black spot. Actually, not that little. It'd be just under. Hmm, 37. Oh, missed him. Got him, yes. That's a jack. Oh, didn't hook him properly. He's just mouth holding it. That was definitely a jack. I saw the red flash. Oh, oh I didn't see what that was. Again, hook, the hook's not coming out of the plastic, but I need it tucked away. Oh, another flash. Come on. And I've changed to a different color. Just to be a bit more natural, because I had a bunch of refusals before on the um, bright, sort of silvery looking one. So I'm using Ghost Orange, just um, yeah, a little bit less uh, flashy. Yep, yeah, got him. What have we got this time? It is a Mango Jack. Woohoo! Species of the day. Well, that's the one I'm after. <laughs> Oh, finally got a mango jack. Hey, little guy. Low 30s, I'm gonna call him. Yep, low 30s, actually right on 30. I've got time here, lots of fishing to do, so I'll just let you go. Hang off you go, buddy. Woo! Cool. Got him, yes. Oh, I was thinking that was a bit of a suicide cast with the mangroves and the current and another jack We finally found the jacks Try not to wreck too much of this edge oh. Just get in the back here to hit while I can't Oh, and he's bigger too. Nice He'd go. Yeah, easy mid-30s Let's have a look at you buddy yeah, 34, maybe 35. Oh, nice one. Oh, come off that one little snag. That's some, um, yeah, a little mangrove. That's cool. Another mangrove jack. Oh, so good. Are we going to lift you in or are you going to fall off? Perfect. Let's quick measurement on him. Yeah, 32, maybe 33. Okay, let's let you go without biting me. So my head camera just overheated as I was um, trying to release that fish. So hopefully I got, got that clip. Don't think just because I changed the color and we're getting fish, that's what's making the difference. I do think mm, the, the more natural colour is, is making them yeah, attack it more, more vigorously, but the current flowing here I reckon is what's doing it. Now instead of sitting here waiting for that camera to cool down, I'm going to put you over here and try and film like this. This could be a challenge. Alright, you're going to stay there. Try and get as much in the shot as possible. Right now is bite time. Oh, was that a touch? That might have been a 
tide. Now I probably should leave already because this tide's slowing down. As soon as it stops here, at the mouth of the river, it's already going out. So I do not want to be in here for another 24 hours, no matter how good the fishing is. I've been out in the boat for four days now. So I'm running out of food. Oh, I've still got a bit of food, but yeah, all the good stuff's gone. <laughs> The thing that makes me keep going more so than the big fish is that I've never been this far up this river. Yep, got him. Oh, and the fish are just a bonus. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Almost as soon as it hit the water there. Where's your big brother, Mr. Mangrove Jack? Okay, there we go. Hey, I'll just drop you in. Hey, off you go, little buddy. See ya. That's the lure I'm getting them on. Atomic Plazos Jerk Minnow. Six inch in Ghost Orange. Oh, we're in the trees here. <laughs> we're right in amongst the, the mangroves. Oh, the camera's gonna fall out. So yeah, we've definitely found the mangrove jack. Started off a little slow. Um, yeah, that's all torn out. Now I have to get another one. I'm actually not finding the really good snags that the big jack hang off. There's um, like plenty of snags here, but they're not the super snags that I expect the big jacks to be on. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was another jack. Got a good look at him. But yeah, in my opinion, the, um, the big jacks, they have the prime spots in the river. And they push the smaller jacks further out of, on, the, on the smaller snags. He won't be back. Let's try in here. Oh, that was a nice mangrove jack. He just mouthed it. Biggest one I've seen today. Can you see behind me? That's the end of the road right there. So let's go get the crab pots and see what we got. Do we have crab for lunch? That'd be nice. Yeah, I'm glad I made it this far up. I, I couldn't go any further. Um, haven't got my big jack, but that just means I have to come back. I reckon I want to try different tides next time, like almost opposite tides. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how that works. Bait's gone. Pot number two. Let's see. Oh, tiny bit of bait, but we got nothing. Okay, pot number three. Come on, pot. And, yep, all the bait's gone. Oh, and the last part, right where I left it. And, yep, looking empty, very empty. Oh, well, that's not how I wanted to end that. Oh, we're still going forward. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that little extra episode. Um, yeah, didn't get my jack, but yeah, mothership trips are fun. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. If you're still here, I've picked out a special video just for you. Check it out.